Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at MySQL enumeration. Now, uh, for any of you who are not familiar with MySQL, MySQL is a relational database that runs on port 3306. Now, as mentioned in the previous video when we were talking about uh, SMTP enumeration, it's not uncommon to see uh, many of these services configured on different ports for various reasons for security or it could be a simple misconfiguration uh, but by default you want to remember these port numbers because uh, many of these services as a best practice are configured to run on their respective port numbers in the event of uh, or in the case of mysql it's going to be port 3306 all right so uh, when we talk about uh, mysql enumeration uh, there's tons of enumeration you can uh, you can get there's tons of info uh, there's tons of information you can enumerate from the target and one of the most important ones is going to be the users and again based on whether or not you have ac actual credentials to the mysql database uh, your experience will be slightly different in that when you have uh, you know credentials or valid credentials you'll be able to enumerate uh, the tables and stuff like that however in this particular video we're going to go off the assumption that you don't have any credentials and you're trying to gather as much information as possible from the mysql server now in this video we're going to be using and targeting the metasploitable 2 virtual machine the reason i'm doing that is because it actually has a mysql database running on it and again it'll be it'll actually provide us with a good uh a good example here so the first thing we're going to do is i'm just going to list out the various nmap scripts that are available to us regarding mysql so i'll just uh, print that out and we'll say mysql so we have a few scripts as you can see uh each of them is slightly different and again will depend on whether or not you have credentials uh, but the most important ones, of course, are going to be MySQL info, MySQL enum. Uh, we'll also talk about the empty passwords. Um, and we'll also take a look at MySQL brute, right? As I said, we are going off the assumption that we don't have credentials. Uh, and of course, we have a vulnerability that, and you can search up the CVE regarding this particular vulnerability. And again, as a best practice, it is recommended that you always run this CVE. Uh, by default in the event that the, the target uh, service, the target MySQL server is vulnerable to this type of attack. So let's get started with the first script, which is the MySQL info script. Now the MySQL, uh, the MySQL info script will just display, you know, basic information about the uh, MySQL server. So for example, we'll say MySQL 3306, that's the port script, and we'll say MySQL info, right? Uh, we say MySQL info 192.168.1.217. That is the IP for the Metasploitable 2 box. And I'm just going to hit enter. And there we are. You can see it tells us, uh, it gives us information regarding the uh, MySQL server. So the protocol is 10. Uh, the version is 5.0.51a. This can be very useful for performing vulnerability analysis. Um, you have the capabilities uh, listed right over here. So you can connect with the database. It supports authentication uh supports transactions etc and one uh, key thing uh, you can see we have the salt here that's very useful when dealing with the passwords uh one key thing uh we need to remember is that the metasploitable 2 virtual machine actually has a instance of php my admin uh setup so we can actually use that in conjunction with the database to actually make a connection uh, but that being said let's actually move on to the second script which is going to be the mysql enum script all right, so I'll clear that out and we'll, you know, use the same command and I'll just replace this and I'll say MySQL enum and hit enter. And uh, the enum script will pretty much try and enumerate uh, user accounts or valid accounts on the, the MySQL server. And it does this by performing a brute force. Now, this is not an effective way of performing a brute force. And that's primarily because we have a MySQL brute script that will allow us to, you know, configure and customize uh our environment uh, and you know environment variables like the amount of threads we want to use so on and so forth uh that being said i want to show you a very cool script here that is uh again is very very useful and that is the mysql um it is the empty password script sorry it's uh, it's called uh script and it's called mysql uh empty password um, and you can pretty much guess what this does. So empty passwords, uh, this script essentially checks to see whether uh, the MySQL accounts that are currently on the system uh, have a null password or do not have a password set at all. In that event, we can uh, get anonymous access. So I'll hit enter and um, 
it looks like uh, we need to specify this is empty password here hit enter and there we are so uh, you can see it tells us that the root account has an empty password which means we can log into the mysql database uh, using a um, using a null password uh, now, given that this database is remote in that it's not running on our on our current host operating system, we can log in. I don't know if this will be supported, so we can try it. Uh, MySQL user root, uh, we say the password, or we can actually specify that later. We say the host or the remote host is 192.168.1.217. And um, we say the port is, or the password, sorry. Uh, we hit enter and it's going to ask us for a password. We hit enter for null password. You can see it tells us we have an SSL connection error. So we might be able to actually log in via PHP my admin. So what I'll do here is I'll just open up my browser, my Firefox session here, and I'll just open up that now, the IP the or the web server, and I'll bring that up to the screen. There we are. Uh, so we have PHP my admin. Um, so if I try and log in with the root and hit, uh, you know, null password that again tells us we don't have access. So uh, I'm not sure we got an accurate result there. But uh, one other alternative that we have is to perform the brute force, right? So uh, we can actually do that right now. So we'll use the MySQL brute script. So we we'll say nmap um, port 3306. And uh, we can then say script. Is going to be my sql brute um, and uh, we need to specify some script arguments so i'll say script args and i'll say my sql brute dot uh, threads let's increase the amount of threads we want to use and uh, we'll set this to 100 uh, by the way we can also set our timing template to something like t4 just to keep it nice and speedy because this will take time uh, depending um, on the amount of uh, on the amount of users uh, it will have to go through in the default user list um, so then i specify the target so 192.168.1.217 and uh, we can actually monitor this with wireshark just to see the credentials that are being sent so i'll hit enter and uh, we'll say sudo wireshark right and because uh, i actually need uh, you know administrative privileges so just hit enter and we'll start capturing the traffic now and uh, yeah we have tons of you can see my sql uh, the mysql protocol here so it looks like we get a response error uh, so it tells us uh, access denied for the user web uh, so yeah we can actually see all the attempts here the brute force attempts that are being sent so we see access denied for the user test uh, access denied for the user looks like this one that's just the banner yeah so again we can just continue the scan and if we check the progress this is going to take a while based as i said on the amount of users and whether or not those users will be on the system uh and of course the various uh the the credentials that we'll actually get for those particular users so uh we'll just go back to wireshark and let's see the responses we're getting uh so we see we have uh, the user sysadmin. Uh, we keep getting responses, invalid responses or connection here. Uh, let's see. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do, so there we are. We have another access denied for the user net admin. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this uh, brute force complete. And I'll get back to you when it's done, when we have some results. All right, so the brute force is uh, complete and uh, you can see we have some uh, very, very interesting information. And uh, number one, uh, you can see we actually get the various accounts and uh, the account names and their passwords. In this case, you can see we have uh, both null passwords, which means we can probably log in uh, without entering a password. Uh, and, uh, you know, for, for both of these credentials or for bo both of these user accounts and their relevant credentials, you can see we actually get the uh, the notice uh, telling us that these are valid credentials now uh, it seems that there's an issue uh, when I try and log in um, with uh, or I try and log in remotely using the MySQL client in that there is an SSL uh, connection error or uh, something wrong with the certificate and that's probably because uh, this box is like I don't know 10 years old or something so uh, we can probably try and log in via uh, via PHP my admin so we'll try root again and no password at all and that tells us again access denied which is pretty weird um, I think we can probably change the password um, so let's try guest with no password because that was a valid credential and there we are we have access now uh, 
Uh, so what we can do is let's try and uh, see what we can do now that we have access here. So um, you can see that we go to privileges here. Uh, all right. So as the guest user, we have all privileges. All right. So uh, again, this is because primarily uh, the Metasploitable 2 box is designed to be intentionally vulnerable. But what we can do for the root user, or given the fact that we have all privileges, we can probably um, we can probably use this. Uh, but you can see that we don't need to provide a password here. But for the root user, let's actually change that. So you can see we have all uh, we have all permissions. And for the password, we can say something like, I don't know, uh, password123 uh, and password one two three you know just something really simple so that we can actually uh, test this stuff out so i'll try and log in uh we say password one two three try and log in and there we are we can now access using the root user and uh, we can use php my admin to actually modify or play around with the database table so for example we have uh, the uh metasploit uh, database uh here we have the mysql database um which is just a standard MySQL database. We have TikiWiki. Um, so again, we can we can pretty much go through all the various databases that are currently on the system. And as you can see, the brute force uh, essentially gave us information regarding the accounts that were on the system. And then uh, again, be, given the fact that this box had no password at all, it was fairly simple to come to the conclusion that we can probably log in with one of those accounts. And then uh, again, I was able to, to change the password for the root user and log in uh, appropriately. Uh, that being said, if I go to, into SQL, sorry, uh, my SQL database, and I click on user here, uh, yeah, so it looks like the user gets a hashed password uh, when we set it. And uh, what is the current hash being used? So it's probably MD5 or it has a password value here or a password function. I'm not really sure what which version this is. I probably need to perform some research on that. Uh, that being said, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in regards to my SQL enumeration. Uh, there's a ton of information you can gather and it'll all depend on uh, you know, the credentials you have and whether or not you're starting off with or without credentials. In my case, I was able to perform uh, a certain level of exploitation. Again, given the results I was able to get and, you know, you can actually see how important performing MySQL in, uh, enumeration is. Uh, that being said, that's going to be it for this video and I'll be seeing you in the next video.